What is up, guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox, where we do that small tech. And today, I am back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 12 Mini. And today, we're back with a case from OtterBox. This is going to be the Commuter Series to unbox. Do a quick review, as always. You know, I'll throw up the link in the video description if you want to check it out. Pricing, I think it's going to retail for about 39 bucks on this one. Uh, look around for some coupon codes. I was able to get a little bit cheaper with the coupon code that I think knocked off 10 bucks. So it definitely makes it a little more manageable in the pocket. So this one's going to be, let's go and check this out. Presentation from OtterBox. Got the usual little branding up top. Three times drop protection. Give back, all that good stuff. 5G compatible. Nothing really says nothing on the packaging. It says about the grip. Dual air protection, but that's pretty much it. Nothing with the MagSafe, so we'll check that out as well. That's pretty much it. Let's get to the unboxing to see if it's a hit or miss. We're going to keep on unloading these uh, mini phone reviews and case reviews for you guys. I know there's been a lot of stuff that says the mini's not selling as good as some of the other ones. But to me, I like this one a lot. I don't know about you. I'm not going to abandon the mini. This one is a great phone. You got high specs, compact build, one-handed use. I don't know about you guys. I've been rocking this. The only thing I would say I like the battery life a little bit better. But I see why it's smaller, just because this is a smaller phone. But overall, this is, to me, one of the best phones released of 2020. Highly recommend that. All right, so let's get to the review. Hard shell plastic. They kind of, this is kind of an old school look to it to me. It's nothing really, nothing sexy about this one, for lack of better words. Hard shell plastic back. You got a little bit of a grip material right there. Kind of differentiates itself from the actual case itself. So you can see it's a two-part. You got like a... Uh, TPU silicone feel to it on the actual bumper around that goes around the actual bumper of the case itself. Otterbox branding, matte, it's not matte, it's actually kind of a slippery material that's on the back. It, and it's one of those colors, the way it's made, the texture, it shouldn't show fingerprints as much. It's not a glossy, but it's definitely not completely matte as well. Overall, build quality feels pretty nice, and it should give you some really good protection while kind of still maintaining. And that's the beauty of this phone. You get a big boy case, you still got a smaller phone, so it's still going to feel really, really nice and compact in your hand compared to like the Max or even the regular 12. That's just my opinion. Interior, got a nice texture to it. You can, it's, it's the same kind of rubbery material. Feels like it's going to give you some nice protection with the edge-to-edge -edge protection. Overall, build quality feels good. Got a little bit of flex to it. Nicely done. All right, let's go and check this out. Let's take off the uh, official leather one, which I pretty much use all the time. I like that one a lot. Definitely gotten dirty. Let's wipe it down, wipe it down, clean it, clean up the little mini. Shine it up real nice. Beautiful. All right, let's pop this into place like this. Snaps right into place like... All right, let's do it. Let's do it real. I guess it's having some struggles here. You can actually pop it out. You can pop out the silicone. And then, or the bumper, and then put it in, but that worked. Okay, let's roll with it. All right, so you can see how it's got black on black looks really clean. I like these little extra little accents right there, the little ridges. Otterbox branding, big, but it is what it is. Feels really, really nice in the hands. Got some nice grip to it. It's like a contrast between this hard shell plastic material right here, which is not necessarily grippy, but then it transitions to this actual. Uh, a bumper part right there that is grippy so the combination of the two the way you hold this one is actually going to give you some overall nice grip i like that a lot so that actually feels really really nice in the hands and it's going to give you some nice protection let's go and check out the camera very good camera protection you can see you got the extra reinforcement a little bit of gloss around the actual camera but nice camera protection so you don't have to worry about with that at all let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lizard lip protection looks really good as well you got the extra reinforcement around all the bumper. So if you drop it, you're good to go. I do got a screen protector on it. So I feel like that that's a really good, nice combination for protection. Buttons stiff. I really, they're okay. They got the same material. They almost feel like they, they should be clickier than what they are. I was expecting it to be super clicky. They feel okay. Maybe they'll wear in time. Nothing, nothing bad. Just I expected just a maybe a little more nice, nice subtle push to it to the buttons. Alert slider, easy access. You can see right there. Deep hole. Again, nicely done with the extra reinforcement around the edges. Speaker looks good, both sides. And you do got this covered up. 
I'm not a huge fan of this because I think there's enough protection, but I see why they did it. So you got the little flap right here. I find this flap, I just want to cut it off. So maybe I will cut it off. I see why they did it. You get the extra protection. So if you do drop it, you got full edge to edge protection. But that, you know, it does untuck like that. So that's not terrible. And then it tucks right into place and it's compact. So it doesn't like stick out. So that's pretty decent. And then power button, same thing. Button's okay. All right. So overall, it's definitely not going to win any awards for the best case of the year. Uh, it's, it's pretty expensive for what it is. I think you can probably get some better value out there with some other cases from like maybe Spigen that have maybe $15 to $20 range rather than $30 to $40. So overall, I would say it's probably going to be a mini hit. If you're a big fan of OtterBox and you like this case a lot, this is probably not going to let you down. But I just think there are probably some better alternatives out there for that price point. Let's go and check it out the MagSafe just to check it out. Mm, all right, let's see. Need to charge this bad boy up. There we go. So it is it is charging. You don't get the illustrations or anything like that, but it is charging. So it is compatible. You just got to find it just right just because of the material. So you're not going to get that suctiony magnetic feel that of the official cases. But overall, we'll call this one a mini hit. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? We go on mini hit for the mini. Let's call it, let's do that right there. A play on words. A mini hit for the mini. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.